Uh, Mr. Nwafo, let's get into the practical lab and okay. let's begin. What does it look like? Give us a practical uh, demonstration of, uh, of uh, the porter. Okay. Uh, if it can be shown on the screen, you will notice that because I'm using a test site. Okay. The real portal will be on from 7 a.m. tomorrow. Okay. So if for any reason one person has seen this or you, as an IT person you copy our URL, tomorrow you won't get it. But what you are going to see is exactly what is going to happen and stronger. So it's a test site that we've been using to do exercise. So you can see the important notice informing you that this particular website is for demonstration purposes. Once you agree with that, you just say, I understand. It welcomes you. Pictures are changing, and it will, we try to, in our pictures explaining it, we bring the young people, old people, female, all diversity to get people get attracted to it. And then the honorable chairman message is there. I'm not going to read it. Tomorrow you can read it. It's long. Employing, uh, telling Nigerians to please that he's, this commission is introducing commission's online portal for the continental voter registration, and some reasons are there. But let's get to the services, which is very clear. If you come to the services, this online portal is trying to solve problems over the years, since 2011 till now, that we have learned. So we try to solve it, making it easier for voters. So when you go to services, for want of time, I will do some demonstrations. You have six services that this portal can give you. One is pre-registration, and I will explain what it is. Pre-registration is, I have not registered before, and I want to register. So for you, you go to pre-registration. And when we go to the pre-registration, you will understand, because it captures your biodata, all information, including where you want to vote, like uh, he asked. This is a situation where you choose where you want to vote. This is a situation you choose when you want to come and uh, get your fingerprint capture. So we have pre-registration. We have voter review, which is important. And I need to stress this. In this voter review, it's as a voter. You voted before. And when you go to the field, they tell you your fingerprint did not match. Please review your voter, because this time, you have to check whether your picture is the right picture, whether your documents, all the information given there are correct. If it is not, the portal will definitely tell you, please call to either the state, local government, and update your record. This is very key because our biometry will be stronger in the accreditation. The voter transfer is, of course, you registered before, and you want to transfer. So all those people, like uh, Sheu said, in terms of the, in the market, this system will give you, and I will demonstrate the voter transfer for you to understand. We also have information updates. You need to know what is happening. We, we will be, this, like I said, this is interactive. Another issue we find out is the PVC collection. People will do registration. They don't know when their PVC will be available and all this. So this time, based on information we're collecting from you, we'll be interacting with you through email, informing you that your PVC has been done. This is where it is. You can collect it. And when it's collected, we also send a mail to you to tell you it has been collected. And which means if any person collects your, your PVC, you can easily know and raise alarm. We also have PVC replacement. Your PVC may have been damaged for reasons which is natural. You inform us and we put it in our work. So let's go straight to pre-registration. So when you come to this pre-registration so pre for anybody uh, in Nigeria by law, Yes, uh, the, the ripe 18. age of voting is 18. 18. Yes. yes. Correct. So mm. anybody that is 18 as at the time this, yes. this as at tomorrow. As at tomorrow, not 18 in next year. It is only when you are 18 you go there. But let, let's get clarity also yes. uh, because some people are asking me the question. That they've gone to the portal, <laughs> the cvr.inecnigeria.org and the cvr.inecnigeria.gov. They uh. said it's not working. Yeah, because so we're that, launching... We are launching tomorrow. Yeah, so I, I just need them, them to know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are launching tomorrow. Uh, so this idea is also about 2023, okay. basically, isn't it? And beyond. And beyond. Yes. Great. So let's go ahead. So now, if you look at the six services I explained, you can see the new voter registration. You can see review. You can see transfer. You can see information update like after. So let's go to new voter registration and see how it goes. So first of all, it tells you the steps. Number one, you fill the registration form. You choose the appointment. 
You generate application SIP. You will see how we do it. And then you visit a biometric registration center, either in the state or local government. I will explain that. And you track that registration status online. Where are you? Have you been all these? It will be giving you in this information. So we still obey COVID-19 protocols. And then uh, we can now say new registration. Look at this. This declaration is, you know some people, and let me read it out. I declare that all the information I provide regarding this process is true to the best of my knowledge and that I may be subject to prosecution for providing false information. At our back end, we'll find many ways to get you and we'll remind you that you did this declaration. I think they call it caveat emptor in law. Uh, so now, it gives you as a voter pre-registration. If you follow me very well, if you see any asterisk red, it, it means it's mandatory. And so I can put my name. My name is one for which is a la last name. It's important. I go to first name, it's Chidi. It's important. Other names is not important, so I leave it. Date of birth, let me say 11th March. That was actually when I was born. That's the day after mine. Yeah. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> And then I was born <laughs> 1965. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you register because it's going to give you a drop down so that you won't waste your time. Now, gender, which is important for us to have when we want to work on Straka. If you notice, we have male, female, not specified to consider what is going on in, in the world now. Yeah. So if we say they're not male or female, so what we consider... But in Nigeria, uh, <laughs> Nigeria, Nigerian law has said there are only two genders, isn't it? So there is no... I mean, Mr. Okoye is a lawyer, but Nigeria, you are, you are leaving space for those who are outside of the country. But in Nigeria, the constitution provides for two genders. Uh, yeah, uh, you, you do design Either you're male or you're female. You do design to encompass all. All. That's how engineers work. Okay. Then when you now have uh, occupation... Because we need to check how many civil servant business and student is mandatory. So let's say I'm a civil servant, and then I've taken it. Nationality is Nigeria. If you are not a Nigeria, you can't go ahead. So, so a non-Nigerian cannot, yeah. under the law, a, mm -hmm. if you are not a Nigerian, you yeah. cannot vote. You cannot. So it gives me all uh, my email is there. My level. Then I come again. Additional information. You see, this thing is making this richer. So it goes to, let's say, tertiary, layers if you want, what other names that you may like. I don't need it. Then it goes to disability. We're still working on this, but it's still OK. We're looking at what the, the people living with uh, disability. Dis disability, how they want it. But this is what we have. We are still interacting. We could still, yeah. So now, the question it will ask you after this, residence, where do you live? I live in Nigeria. State of residence. Let's say I'm living in Abia. Then local government, I pick my local. You see, you are doing this. Nobody's filling it for you. Hmm. Let's say Abia, Abba not. Birth information, where you were born. Let's say I was born in Nigeria. Because you can be born anywhere. Mm -hmm. State of birth, uh, I was born in Kaduna. So I put Kaduna. And then local government, I think Kachi or whatever. So let me just put Jabba, anything just for demonstration. So when you have finished it, it gives you origin information. Of course, your country of origin must be Nigeria. State of origin, I said Abia. Local government, I put Abba not. So I've captured all this. These are information that are very important for our harmonization with NIMSI. Okay, so you are working hand in hand with NIMSE. Are you providing? Uh, is are they? Do they have access to to all the data? No, we need to work on that. We are still working with them. Okay, with because I understand that there was a general committee that was supposed to have a handshake. Yeah, we are there. So we are working with that, and then uh, the commission will take decision on that. So place of origin, I can call one my village, just a name, and that is my place of origin. After that, I move to what you call Polling unit, this is the key. Where do you want to vote? And that's asterisk too. It's so asterisk, it's critical. It's critical. You need to decide. So wherever I'm doing this, anywhere in the world, uh, or Lagos or Abuja, but I said I want to vote. Let me now say, I want to vote also in Ab Ab Abia. So it asks you the state you want to vote, which is mandatory, you pick Abia. It asks you the local government, you pick Abanot. 
You are doing it by yourself. And then it asks you the registration word, which is which word? Let's say I want to do it in Aziama. And then when you put that Aziama, it will bring you the polling unit, both the old and the new created polling. So you make a choice by yourself. So all the new polling units are also, I yes. mean, they are Use in the it, portal now. They are in the portal. Fantastic. So I, I look at the list is there. So I choose, let me choose railway quarters. And then I pick the work water. So I finish about where do I want to vote. Now, supporting documents that are key that you can do, an uh, you know, it's not that mandatory, but we still need it if you have. As a, as a layer of verification, yes, isn't it? Yes, yes. And then when you have reached this, you've done first, by that and address and all this, you now go and say, save and continue. You've not finished. Okay. You see, it's asking me, it's telling me, that I did not put my home address. So 23 Zambezi, Crescent. That's exactly not your, you're just using yeah, one just to, for there. safety, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so once I do that, I will check whether I missed any other one, it's not showing me, I will now save and continue. So this is a system that if you miss anything, it gets you back there. Okay. That's another critic, it says success. The pre-registration data. So this saved. is if um, this is uh, the landing page for no, the form the after. Stage. This is the next stage. After you have saved, okay. and then you want to continue. So because I could see two passports yes, there. Yes, it's telling you you need to upload their passport photos. Oh, because you know you're going back. Mm -hmm. You can do this criminally, but you must see us back at the state office. Mm. So you need your picture. And it will capture the picture in a funny manner. I'll try it. I don't know about the light, okay. but it will show. Yeah. Now, there are two ways to capture the feature. One, when my face is neutral. Mm -hmm. Two, when I am smiling. I wouldn't like to answer why. It's something we use at biometric, uh, at the back end, and mm -hmm. also some of new things about our standards. So you can see first, neutral, and then second, smiling face. May I remove my... Uh, 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 Your heart. My yeah. heart. Even I can remove my glasses because it will read it. This is facial. Okay. So now I have to take a picture. You can see it. I have to make myself, you know, show that uh, this is test. I will just be neutral. I will capture. The next one is start camera. I need to smile here. But not bring your teeth, but just smile. So that means that uh, uh, the devices that could be used for this purpose also as uh, there, is a, uh, there is a requirement, basic requirement yeah. for these devices, mm -hmm. the capabilities that yes. these devices require before you can exactly. go through this process. So it's uploading now, and it will check whether the pictures are okay. Let's pray the pictures are okay. If it's not okay, you see, he said, photo rejected, mm. because you could not detect full face. So you go back again. But because you are doing it within yourself, it may not, uh, uh, you are doing it in your house or home, yeah. so we'll try to recapture. Yeah. So I'm sorry it's taking a little time, but we So you better to... smile properly this time around so that it can <laughs> capture you once and So you start all. the camera again and then uh, take the picture. Let's even, uh, <laughs> I took with my camera. With, with your glasses. Uh, let me even look at it because I'm not. Uh... So. All right. Updating. Mm. Is up uploading and updating? Still, what is it? I'm having an issue with, with this your particular... picture. Yes. And we cannot get past this. Uh, you can't. Okay. But we'll get it. We'll okay. get it through. All right, but I, I was thinking that in that process, maybe we should 
uh, as you do that, maybe we can get through to the other side. No, but let me also show you voter transfer before you go. There. Okay, great. All right. Because at this stage, once you take the pictures and all these, it will schedule an appointment. Okay. And which is what I wanted to show. And uh, once you schedule the appointment, it will show you how to schedule the appointment by bringing down the state where you want in this period, you now have to do it at the state or the local government. Okay. And then it will give you the time. You are, take your time and choose a particular time and a particular. So it schedules the appointment like visa section. Mm. And so at that time, you need to be there. And physically. If, physically. When you go there, you just capture your fingerprint. Within three minutes, fingerprint, which is, this is this, the, the, fingerprint system, the fingerprint scanner. Okay. And then you will now see this system and also that kind of system because this is the IVET. Okay, that's what you call the... Um, I make voter, I make voter registration online yeah. or oh, enrollment device. device. So IVET. with this... So this is a new creation. It's a new creation. This is the key. With okay. this, it's mobile. It has more facility and more resources, even more than the... So DVD. you can charge this for a while? Oh, you charge it. Or it has to be... First of all, this powered. system can use AC. It can use DC. Okay. It can use power. It can use charged... Okay. You can use battery, okay. so we have facilities for that to start as long as. And once we charge it, with our power, it can stay up to 10 to 12 hours. Wow. So we manage that. Okay. So for areas where electricity is not stable. Yes. So, so that when all of this is done... When and, all of uh, this is finished... And gives you an appointment. Yes. Let's say the appointment is just about now. Yes. So what do we do? No, once the appointment is given, okay. for instance, you now go to the state or local government right. office. And what you do, because I, if this has passed, I'm yeah. sure it gives you a QR code. Okay. And it gives you your application slip number and your face. You now take it to the local government and state office, and then they will now capture your fingerprint. All right. So let's That's go. number one. All right. All right. They can also, what I want them to do, assuming you've not done this online, and you are just going, you can go physically, and they capture all this. They do all of this for all you. All of this. Okay. So you have facility for online, you also have facility for physical. So um, what exactly is happening uh, or what is that? It does look like uh, what is used for SIM registration, isn't it? Um, but put us through that quickly. Yes. What, what we have over what there. What you have there is you still have the scanner, you still have the printer, you still have the system, you can have the laptop and also this system in the state and, and the local government office. So when you come, they fill in all your data. Okay. Snap you okay. and capture your fingerprint. And you go. This is physical. Assuming you've done online, you go there, they capture your fingerprint and your face, and you go. All right. Can, can we see that happen just quickly, if, if you can just uh, take us through that? Because, you know, the interesting part of it is when people's mind are prepared towards yeah. this, and it gives them an idea of just how many minutes they will spend. For yeah. a lot of people now know that they can do this on their own and the next thing is going over there. So what is happening on that side? Okay. Can I, Mr. Wafog put us through? Okay, what is happening is that, uh, let's assume uh, I have a staff who is with the system and the person that is there is the voter. So can you do a physical registration and then let's see how it looks. It won't take more than five minutes. Okay, no, we don't have... We, we have actually one minute for that. <laughs> so it's all we want to do is just to capture the fingerprint. Just, just, let's yeah. capture the so fingerprint. So we assume he has done his online registration yes. and then yeah. we can capture his fingerprint. Yeah. So the portal again is uh, cvr.inecnigeria.org or cvr.inecnigeria.ng, isn't it? Yes, .gov.ng. .gov.ng. So you need to put this in mind. I mean, have, it, have this in mind. So are we good to capture now? Yes, we're good. Okay. So it requires the 10 fingers, isn't it? Yes. yes. So we are done with the capture. So after the capture, that's all. Yes, and uh, thank God I took a picture when you were asking. Okay. So that we'll just round it up if they can get the screen. Okay. The pictures have, they said now, quality check passed. Okay. And then you continue process. Because this is key. Okay. Uh, when you now continue, say status, awaiting completion and submission. 
So if you look at by the side, you see that my picture, you see pre-registration, that is the key, that is this pre uh, registration slip. So once I finish all this, you can see my record, and you have the right to look at it and possible change. And then the next thing you see, schedule appointment, which is the key I was trying to explain. Fantastic. Once you now want to schedule appointment, it gives you state, it gives you registration center, you choose by yourself. It gives you even the appointment date. Let me tell the state is there, choose the local government. I won't take time, just choose anything so that you see it. And then you go to the appointment. Once you go to the appointment, it gives you a list and time. Okay. And you choose anyone, you are done. So what it means is that you now go to the state with the application slip or the local government, and then you will be captured what they have done there. So it gives you this. It tells you submitted appointment schedule. All right. And you're done. So uh, for some people who are already reacting, going through this, especially those in diaspora, yes. they are itching to get through this. Yes. But the other part is the physical part. Yes. So you can do this, and between now and 2023, you can complete the physical. Let, let me say this. We have time for you, for instance, if you are in the portal, I know you could take time. We want we give 14 days for you to delay, make mistake, and then 14 days you put up your registration. But you must choose a date. So it is advice that, because we're working on 45 days or so, it's advice if you are abroad and you are coming back to Nigeria. Do it within that window so that once you come, you yeah. go to state office or go to local government and do it. All right. So, uh, Mr. Okoye, the, 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 they are to visit, Nigerians are to visit CVR, cvr.inec.gov.ng or cvr.inecnigeria.org, and it is live tomorrow. Definitely, yes. I must sincerely thank both of you. Um, we've taken this upon ourselves at Channel Television as our own responsibility to our viewers that anytime they're watching this program, they have the benefit of a lot of information. And that's exactly what we've drawn INEC out tonight to give them a sense of what is happening tomorrow. But I must sincerely thank you for creating that time. Mr. Wanfo and Mr. Okoye, thank you so much indeed. And of course, our friends at INEC, right. thank you so much, uh, gentlemen and lady. Thank you so much. Well, that's our show for today. And uh, if you are ready to get to vote in Nigeria, You've heard and you've seen the demonstration, the simulation of what will happen from tomorrow. But that's our show today. Thanks so much, everyone, for watching. I'm Shoa Kimale. Bye-bye.